So part of v4 introduces a very interesting change. It's a split between the admin API and the content API. And that means now we have API tokens. If you want to give certain people access to your data without having to change the user and permissions plugin by giving them access, we can use API tokens. And I'll show you how. So as you can see, currently no permissions have been set. And when we open Insomnia, the application I'm using to make requests to my API, we'll paste localhost 1337 API slash demos and make a request. And we get four or three forbidden because we have not given any actions access to accessing the API. So let's go to API tokens in settings under global settings and create a new entry. And this could be um, content app. Let's name it content app. Now we have um, the option to have this content be read only or full access. Just for this demo's purpose, we'll have read only. Description, the token for the app thing. We'll go ahead and save this and we get our token. I suggest keeping it somewhere safe because it's only visible once and you won't be able to refresh it unless you delete it and create a new one. So we'll copy this, still four or three, but what we want to do is add auth, we'll select bearer token as the authentication type and paste our bearer token in there. And now when we make the request, we get back all the data that we had previously added into a content manager, select demo collection type and see that all these are visible and that is how you can leverage V4's new feature of API tokens.